Chevy or Cadillac? General Motors has a decision to make. General Motors has an interesting NASCAR predicament coming up in the very near future. With Ford and Toyota both introducing new versions of their models that race in the Cup Series between the Mustang and the Camry, Chevy is now left with trying to replace the Camaro, which has ended production in 2023. You'll no longer be able to purchase the car in 2024 and beyond. NASCAR is allowing them to continue to race the body, but they can't make any updates to it because there's not a production model for those updates to be based on. So General Motors, Chevrolet, or Cadillac have to come up with a new model to race in NASCAR. And right now, Chevrolet doesn't exactly have a bunch of offerings on the table. They of course have the Malibu, which doesn't really instill any sort of excitement in anyone other than the salesman that's selling it to somebody that probably has bad credit. No offense if you drive a Malibu, they're wonderful cars, they're just basically fleet vehicles. They're great for a Hertz or an Enterprise rental car but to make that the marketing car for your, your brand in NASCAR, that doesn't exactly instill excitement in anybody. But they don't have anything else to offer, right? They have the Corvette, but that doesn't exactly fit the mold of NASCAR, a mid-engine sports car that would have to be really, really reworked body-wise to make it fit those NASCAR templates, and it would just look too stupid to even try to market that. Albeit, it does, you know, have its own spot in NASCAR if they wanted to do it in terms of competition from the other models that are being raced, between the Mustang and the Camry. That's not a market that they're targeting, the Corvette owner's market. At the end of the day though, they're not going to do that. And racing the Malibu goes head to head in competition with the best selling sedan in the world being the Camry. So Chevy probably doesn't want to take that up either. They can't do like they did in 2013 and go out and get the Chevy SS, which was just the Holden Commodore from Australia. They brought it over to the States, rebadged it, put a different nose on it, and they were like, hey, here's our production model. We're going to race this in NASCAR. Why? Because Holden doesn't exist anymore and there's no offerings in Australia. And I poured over the internet trying to find what Chevy offers globally and there's nothing that they can really slide into this position. That's where Cadillac comes into the equation because guess what? They have the perfect platform to race in NASCAR. They have the CT4 and the CT5 Blackwing or just general base trim models or even V. You can get whatever you want. You can start at $35,000 for the Blackwing or you can go or for the CT4. Let me clarify that. $34,000 for the base CT4 or you can go all the way up to $80,000 for the CT4 Blackwing. And same with the CT5. You can get it for $40,000 in base trim or take it all the way up to $110,000 for the Blackwing with 700 horsepower. But the point of the matter is they already have that production car ready and available, right? It's built on the Alpha platform. They're selling a bunch of them. Chevrolet doesn't have that. So there's two options here. One would be for Chevrolet to just take that platform, take the basic CT4, CT5, change the body work on it, slap a Chevy bow tie on it and be like, this is what we're racing. We're going to sell, you know, a thousand units in 2025 or six, whenever they try to introduce it. And, you know, it's a production model now. And then they can race that in NASCAR or they can swap out the Chevrolet brand and put in Cadillac. And I know that's blasphemous. That's enough for people to come at me with torches and pitchforks. People on the internet, not happy. Anytime I suggest that. Their solution though is to bring back the Chevelle or the Nova, which that doesn't make any sense. I do always love the bring back Pontiac one because I would love to see Pontiac come back, RIP to that brand. But putting Cadillac into NASCAR does make some sense. And I know people get all upset about this, but Cadillac coming in, they've become General Motors' motorsport division, essentially, right? They've invested heavily into the endurance racing uh, sphere, right? With World Endurance Championship as well over here on the IMSA side. They're also getting into bed with Formula One and Michael Andretti, pending approval if that ever happens. Just go ahead and approve it, FOM, because we all want to see it. It's another manufacturer. So they'll be building power units with Andretti and being a factory team for Andretti. General Motors, Cadillac going in. So if you already have this great brand in Cadillac that's getting heavily involved in motorsport, why not just put all of your motorsport divisions underneath one brand, that being Cadillac? Put the Chevy NASCAR programs and just turn them into Cadillacs and you can have all of your racing programs under that one banner. It now becomes your luxury brand as well as your high performance brand as well. Because Chevy, at the end of the day, their high performance car, they just got rid of it. Right? With the Camaro, they went ahead and sunset that. Sure, they still have the Corvette, but they're going to spin that off into its own subset brand. So the Chevy name doesn't necessarily carry any sort of brand performance anymore, which is really unfortunate, right? The SS nameplate now just lives on like a Chevy Silverado or a Trailblazer, and that's super 
unfortunate and a bit of a bummer, right? If you grew up loving ca cars, sedans, coupes, doesn't matter. Chevy and that SS name all the way up to ZL1E, whatever the Camaro is, Chevy was always a performance brand. Now they're just the brand of crossovers. There's like eight different crossovers that you can get. A bunch of full-size SUVs and very overpriced 1500 Silverados. Other than that, they don't offer a ton. Where Cadillac, meanwhile, continues to offer the luxury, but also continues to offer high performance options in both the CT4 and the CT5. And you can even get an Escalade in a V for whatever that's worth, about $150,000 it seems like, for 700 horsepower and about nine miles per gallon, which, sheesh, at a time where everybody's like, oh, we gotta go to hybrid, we gotta go to electric, and Cadillac's over here like, put the biggest motor we have into the Escalade. Oh, it's over 6,000 pounds? Doesn't matter. You get nine miles to the gallon? Who cares? It's a wild concept. I would never buy one. But it's beside the point. Making Cadillac the NASCAR brand, at the end of the day, makes sense. And I jokingly said on TikTok, class up the joint a bit, right? Bring Cadillac in. And it's a bit of a joke, but also at the same time, like it does help your brand perception, NASCAR's brand perception, to have a luxury brand come in right? We always see these people being like, oh, bring BMW into NASCAR. One, that would never work. NASCAR fans are not going to be fans of BMW fans. And BMW enthusiasts aren't going to come to NASCAR because their cars are being raced here because of, you know, the general conception of what they think, uh, perception rather, of what they think a NASCAR fan is, which is highly unfortunate. But you could attract a different audience by bringing Cadillac in. And it's something that they might want to consider, right? Jim France probably desperately would love to see Cadillac come in uh, just because of his road racing background and how much he loves sporty cars. Having them come in definitely helps try to bring some of that maybe IMSA audience over, which there's already a pretty decent crossover there for the most part, but there's some diehard NASCAR fans, there's diehard IMSA fans as well. But there's also fans of Cadillac as a brand. And even outside of NASCAR or even this country, outside of the NASCAR you know, viewing audience, if people see Cadillac come in, they're like, oh, you know, I drive a Cadillac, maybe I'll tune in and watch and see what they're doing. It's just a different audience that you could potentially tap into, which is why it's probably worth a try. And once Chevy figures out whatever their future is going to be and whatever the replacement for the Camaro is going to be, then they can come back in at some point down the road whenever Cadillac decides to sunset the CT4 and the CT5 because this world is not long for sedans being around much longer. At the end of the day, I mean, it's just kind of, the nature of the beast and sort of where the car market's going. It's really unfortunate as a person who absolutely loves high performance sedans and cars and coupes and everything that's not a crossover. That just is what it is. And selfishly, I'd love to see a car that I own race in NASCAR. It'd be cool to see for once. Um, although I did have a 1984 Chevy Monte Carlo SS when I was a bit younger. Fun car. Fun car. It raced in NASCAR as well. I didn't have the Aero Coupe. I had the the notchback, the, yeah, the notchback essentially for lack of a better term, but love G-bodies. I'm sure somebody in the comments will also tell me that they love G-bodies because how could you not? Uh, but yeah, put Cadillac into NASCAR. It would be interesting. It'd be a bit of a change. And I say that knowing that Chevrolet has 851 NASCAR Cup Series victories, 42 manufacturers championships, and 33 drivers championships over their time being in NASCAR, more substantially more than every other manufacturer out there. Ford is actually not that far behind and wins less, well, a little bit over a hundred uh, behind, but closer than you would expect considering how much Chevy wins at an alarming rate some, some decades. You look through that list, you're like, whew, they were racking them off. But it's okay to maybe just pause the brand, right? It fatigues out. It's been in NASCAR for so long, and sure, Chevy and NASCAR are synonymous together. They've been together the longest out of all the manufacturers. It makes sense. It's been the most successful brand in NASCAR. I get why people are like, you can't take it out because there's a ton of brand equity, and I completely agree with that. But this is an opportunity for General Motors to really set Cadillac up as the motorsport brand within their portfolio to make it into something that it previously wasn't. And that allows them to make Chevy into whatever they want Chevy to be, the crossover brand or whatever. I'm not 100% sure what the idea is over there. Regardless, I wanna see Eric Warren, the director of General Motors Motorsport Division, come out like he's a high school athlete getting ready to pick on National Signing Day. I want a Cadillac hat, I want a Chevy hat. I saw somebody mention having a GMC hat in there as well, just to really mix things up. And then he picks which one he's gonna put on and that's what the brand is going to be going into the future. 
Regardless, make a decision sometime because they're going to, Chevy that is, desperately want to make a change after they see what happens with the new Ford body and the new Toyota body. Because running a homologated body for a second or maybe even third consecutive year is not ideal, especially in the world of the ever-changing world of NASCAR. So let me know in the comments, what brand do you want to see? I know most people are going to pick Chevrolet. If you want to see Cadillac, that's fantastic as well. But let me know in the comments. Like and subscribe to the channel. Follow me on TikTok at Raycard, Instagram and Twitter at Raycard Blog.